Research is integral to everything that the NHS stands for. Fetal growth restriction affects about 5 to 10 percent of babies overall, so that's a lot of babies when you consider 700,000 that are born in England and Wales every year. What we're looking at particularly is babies that don't grow very well in the womb, and they don't grow very well for a variety of causes, uh, often because the placenta doesn't work very well. There are roughly 50 centres in the UK and Europe that are taking part in Truffle 2. Truffle 2 study is looking um at the timing of delivery for women who have um, small growing babies, so those women between 32 weeks and 36 plus 6 weeks who have a baby that's growing slightly below normal. We're looking at when is best to deliver these babies. Is it better to deliver them when we see changes in the baby's blood flow or is it better to monitor them really closely and wait until the baby is a little bit older? The most common impact of placental insufficiency is that babies just slow down in growing. But uh, if it is worse than that, then the fluid around the babies can reduce, they can stop moving, uh, they can become quite sick. And in extreme circumstances, babies can die. Lots of studies actually had to stop during the COVID-19 pandemic or weren't able to open. But we were very fortunate that we were still able to open Truffle 2 um, in October 2020. And that's because all of the ultrasound scans that the patients are coming for are part of their routine NHS care. Hi, Martha. Hey. I'll have a seat here. Yeah. How are you feeling today? Okay, just yeah, hopefully this time it won't be high. We monitor them really closely and we bring them back for repeat growth scans and we have a look at their blood flow, so the, the baby's blood flow, and we look at something called Doppler measurements. This top line here. This is the baby's heart rate. If these Doppler measurements become abnormal, we don't currently know what is best to do. Is it better to deliver them as soon as we see babies like this? Um, or is it better to wait and deliver them a little bit later? So these line up beautifully with when there's a raised heart rate for the baby, which is exactly what we want. Marta, how does it feel to be part of research that's going to hopefully help mothers and babies in the future? I think that's pretty important and I'm happy with that. Everyone can just contribute a bit and help so more little tiny babies can stay alive. They can't wait to meet my little girl. Let's have a little look. So there's baby's head and there is baby's heart beating. Just doing a manual measurement because baby was breathing quite a lot and that manual measurement looks completely normal. Yes, it is. So the blood flow in the brain is normal, the blood flow in the cord is normal. So those things are all very reassuring. I'm just looking at the blood flow in baby's brain, which is one of the parameters we're looking at on which to decide when to deliver the baby. So if the blood flow in the baby's brain goes up, then that's a suggestion that the baby is slightly short in oxygen because the baby pumps a lot of blood up to the brain in that case. And I'm just looking at the measurement of blood flow in baby's brain there, which, which actually is normal. It's normal, so that's quite reassuring. So if we look at growth over the last few weeks, it's just been on that 10th centile line, either just above or just below, isn't it? Yeah. And if we see there, just below. So I think it makes sense to deliver the baby next week. So when Luna was diagnosed with intrauterine growth restriction, I was in the hospital twice a week for my like growth scan. I don't think participating in the research um, is an extra work. It will benefit not just me and my baby, but the other pregnant women as well. You know, mothers will do everything for their babies. And uh, yeah, if this research will help our babies and also the mothers, then yeah, why not participate? I love being part of the Truffle Tea study. I think it's um, really exciting to be part of something that will hopefully change how we manage women and their pregnancies in the future. There is a question that we don't have answered at the moment. So to be able to, sometime in the future, be able to answer these questions with more certainty would be really exciting.